We've done it for the indicators. We've done it for the swing trade strategies. And today's video, we are going to go over every single custom scanner that I have published. Hit like and let's go. The first scanner is actually the number one scanner that I use the most when looking for stocks to day trade. I call it my runner scanner and we're going to go over it now. So at the top of all of my scanners, you're going to see two, three, or four stock filters. I'm not going to talk about every single one of these on every single scanner. They're just kind of boiler room stuff to make sure that I'm not getting crappy results in my scan. So I have a minimum close here to make sure that I'm not getting like blank, blank stocks. And I have a minimum market cap for the same reason. Now, jumping down to the studies, I'm looking for the percent change of the open. So based off the open of the last 14 candles, because that's the default length of this method to be greater than 30. I'm looking for the volume even of yesterday's bar being over 500,000 or the average of the last 14 bars being over 500,000. And then I'm looking for the high to be over the highest high point of the last 10 bars. That might have sounded a little confusing. Let's uh, let's jump over to the charts and take a look at what I'm talking about here. So um, if I go to, I got to change the color of this link. If we go to VERI, obviously a very strong stock. The percent change, the average change of the last 14 bars is over 30. Yesterday, the high was over the highest point of the last 10 bars. So it's still on the scanner today. OTRK, similar. CIFR, similar. And why is this a scanner that I use for my uh, day trading strategies? Because these are going to be the stocks that are getting the most attention in the stock market. If I come down into the five minute chart on this, um, does this look like a chart that might have been tradable? I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm making this on Good Friday. I kind of forgot the markets were closed today. Does this look like a stock that was tradable on uh, Thursday when this would have popped up on the scanner? Yes, of course. Look at the range it gives. I mean, hell, it bounced from sub nine to over 10 on this day. It's just returning stocks that I know everyone, like a lot of buyers are going to have their eyes on. It's going to provide volatility and volatility provides opportunity. I also have to talk about two more things with this scanner, and that is these two custom columns. So this custom column here is the custom column that I sort by, and it's very cool. This one is showing you how many consecutive days that the stock has been true according to these metrics. So it's showing you stocks that have been strongest for the longest. VERI being at the top of that, because if we go back to the daily, this has been on the scanner for 10 consecutive days. It has had 10 consecutive days of insane strength, right? So that's what I sort the scanner by. And then this RSI five minute just shows me so that when I'm looking at it from a glance, I can see what is currently really strong. Okay, ATMU is above 60 on the RSI. That's why this is highlighted green. If I went to ATMU and looked at what that chart looked like on the intraday, I should see strength. So that allows me to see immediately, you know, what is currently moving, what is currently strong. So that's the runner scanner. That is the two custom columns that come with this scanner that are also available to download within the uh, scan itself. So that's scanner number one. We got a handful more to get through. Let's go. I want to take a second to hop over to my website, daytradingstrategies.net, just so you have an idea of what we're getting into for the rest of this video. If I click into scanners, click into day trading, this is obviously the one we just covered. We have three more day trading scanners to go over. If I go into swing trading scanners, we have one, two, three, four, and then there are four scanners inside of this. So there's eight total swing trade scanners. That's 11 more scanners we have to cover in this video. So let's jump back in and go take care of that. But if you're interested in downloading, in making use of any of these scanners, or of course, anything else you see here, they're all available for one low price, daytradingstrategies.net. Links at the top of the description. Go click that and we'll see you over there. Alrighty, our second scanner is really easy. It's the same scanner, except that I have a maximum price on this stock filter set to a dollar. This is our runner's penny stock scanner. And I set this up because obviously I noticed a lot of times I feel like I'd be missing out on opportunities by not at least looking at the volatility provided by these penny stocks. I mean, look at what this stock did on Thursday. Absolutely insane. Uh, KULR, 
provided pretty great volatility, at least out of open. This one is gross. This one's gross. There's going to be a, a lot of penny stocks that are also gross, right? But um, there's a handful of opportunities that do end up popping up on this scanner. So I built it, obviously made it available for you to download. Um, once again, you will just don't go and trade any of this barcoding crap. Of course, it's going to happen a lot in penny stocks. It's the whole reason why I don't look at penny stocks on the first scanner, but oftentimes there's opportunities like this, and I think it's maybe worth having a scanner to capture and return to you those opportunities. So that's the uh, runner's penny stock day trading scanner. Day trading scanner number three is a really cool one. This is an earnings scanner. So within ThinkScript code, you can pull this method, get event offset. And then I have my events.earnings equal to zero, which is returning to you, obviously, any stock that has earnings today. So if we jump over to our charts and we look at our uh, scanner to the left here, our earnings scanner, WBA, Walgreens had earnings on Thursday morning. Obviously, earnings provides to you a ton of volatility. Look at what Hut did after they reported earnings in the morning. Um, QBTS, a lot of these, we're not really in earnings season right now, so a lot of these are smaller stocks. But um, you all know, obviously, what earnings are capable of doing to stocks. If I scroll back on NVIDIA a little bit, obviously, NVIDIA would have been on the uh, scanner this day. You all know what earnings do to stocks. They provide tons of volatility, and it's important for you to have a scanner that can so that you know what what is upcoming in earnings so that you may have a chance to capitalize on that volatility. So our fourth and final day trading scanner is a pre-market change scanner. It is simply returning to you any stock that has moved more than 2% in after hours trading. And then I sort this top down by volume because once again, what's the theme of all these day trading scanners? It's to find stocks that are going to provide volatility. And obviously, stocks that are getting volume and moving in pre-market trading are have a higher probability, at least, of providing you volatility during the day. So um, these are the stocks that popped up. I mean, look at what OTRK did, made a move in pre-market. Look at what it did after, you know, just click through some more of these stocks. Uh, Bit F got a little move in pre-market. XLO went crazy in pre-market, might have provided a good short for the rest of the day, whatever. But, um, oh my gosh, look at AVTX apparently went, wow, wait, what? Stock went from $4.50 to $24 in, in after hours and pre-market trading, which obviously provided you insane volatility throughout the day on Thursday. So things like this, exactly why you need to have a scanner like this so that you don't miss out on stocks that are bouncing from freaking $16.60 to $34. I mean, this would have been on your scanner at market open, right? Seeing as it's a scanner judged off of pre-market movement, you would have known about this stock before market open. And I'm not saying you would have bought at 16 and sold at 34. Nobody's perfect, but you would have had the opportunity to apply your strategies to a stock that you know is likely to be volatile. Those are all the day trading scanners. We've got a handful of swing trading scanners to jump into though. So let's get into that next. The first swing trade scanner is also one we don't need to spend a lot of time on. Guess what? It's a runner's scanner. Again, if you guys can't tell, I am almost exclusively, not always. If you didn't watch my last video, I'm starting to get into a different style of trading, but almost exclusively a continuation trader. So looking to buy stocks that are moving, you know, buy high, sell higher, right? So this is our runner's swing trading scanner. And really the only difference in this one is that I'm looking for the percent change to be true over the last three bars. So I'm looking for a little bit more of an elongated move on the daily chart to look for more daily continuation. And once again, sorting by my consecutive column, RGLS been on the been on the uh, scanner for 13 days. STI also been on for 13 days. Wow, a really strong move here from 60 cents to over $3.70. CLRO, this one is just a gapper. So I, I should say this too, hopefully you all made it this far in the video, but on any of my runners uh, scans, if I see a gap in the stock chart like this, I will disregard the stock. It's only on the it's only on the scanner meeting our percent change metrics because of this giant gap, right? It's not actually consistently gaining kind of like RGLS here, although that's weird because this one gap too. So uh, maybe I should say STI. This one, a relatively consistent gainer. Let me see if I can find a better example. VERI. This one's a relatively consistent gainer. No gaps in this chart, right? So actually, this would probably be 
be the one I would be the most interested in looking for a continuation, right? Because kind of all these other stocks have a big old gap in them. So that's just a little side note. But once again, runner swing trade scanner, just looking for the percent change to be over 30 for the last three bars rather than just the current bar like the day trading scanner. Guess what? For swing trade scanner number two, we have another runner scanner. This time is a runner's large cap scanner. You will notice that I have my minimum market cap set to 500 million. And you will also notice I have my percent change value changed from 30 to five. Because of course, these larger stocks just don't move as crazy as the low float stocks. So we kind of lower our metrics that we look for. Then also the third change is I sort this one by volume rather than by consecutive days on the chart. I want to be looking for with this scanner, the biggest moving, highest volume trading large float stocks. And if I'm being perfectly honest with you, I use this scanner and the associated strategy with this scanner because almost all these scanners also have strategies built to go with them. I find myself using this way more than the uh, runner swing trade scanner that we covered before. I like swing trading the larger cap stocks just a little bit more, but um, just click through a couple. Um, oh, Google's on. Look at Google with a uh, nice gap up recently. Um, Micron is on. So you're starting to know some of the names of these stocks now, but um, Citigroup is on here. Wow. Look at, wait a second. Look at banks recently. I have not been paying attention to the banking sector enough. What the hell? Uh, anyway, that is a uh, swing trader. That's swing trade scanner number two. And look, there's a reason right there why you need scanners like this. I I'm going to go analyze some uh, bank stocks after I make this video. Thanks scanner. <laughs> what the hell? JP Morgan hasn't had a red day in three months. What is going on? Hey, the next scanner is actually the one I find myself using the most right now. I just made an in-depth tutorial on how I trade reversals. Whatever day you see this video is posted, go back and look at the video before if you're interested in this trade strategy as well. But this is my reversal scanner. So as for mentioned, I am almost exclusively, at least I have been for the last four or five years, almost exclusively a continuation trader, but I'm starting to dabble in reversal and that is exactly what this scanner is looking for. Stocks that are above the 200 SMA, but below 40 on the relative strength index. So stocks that are still strong, but currently dipping, right? CTSH, ARDX, I mean, a really strong stock on a dip. VMEO, and I recognized last time when I was doing this, I was covering the stocks. Um, a really strong stock, this one's on a bit of a crazy dip, but ACN, really, really strong move on a dip right now. TAL, really strong move on a dip right now. You get the idea. That's the reversal scanner. Very, uh, uh, I'm finding a lot of usefulness personally from this scanner myself right now. So one of my favorite swing trade scanners there. This next scanner is a really nice segue to piggyback off of the last one. I didn't even set them up like this on purpose on the website. It just happens to work out that way. This one is my MACD golden cross scanner. So simply just the MACD histogram crossing above zero, obviously with my uh, couple of uh, boiler room stock filters up here, but not a complicated scanner. But if we click through this and I've actually turned on the, uh, let me move my big fat head. I've turned on the uh, MACD down here as well. This is essentially a reversal scanner because it's, you know, it's stocks that are were, were on a dip that have curled back up, right? The MACD has gone from red to green here on Intel, on DNA, on BMY. So once again, these are stocks that were on a dip, but coming out of the dip. So the reversal strategy, or sorry, the reversal scanner we just looked at, strong stocks currently dipping. This one stocks that were dipping that are coming up out of that dip. So sort of whichever different way you like to play reversals, daytradingstrategies.net has a scanner ready for you. So the final four swing trade scanners are all going to be found inside of this link on the website as they are all related to the dot plot indicator that I have built. This is a custom indicator I built as well as the uh, arrows on chart. Those are two separate indicators, but they have multiple different ways 
of reading the indicators and I have built a scanner for each of those. So the next four scanners are all going to be in relation to these. Let's go ahead and dive into them and discuss how they work. So let's quickly go over the dots real quick because you need to understand what this means for these scanners to make any sense. There is five horizontal lines obviously built in dots on this scanner. The thicker top line here is your MACD value and it is red if below zero, green if above zero. Those same values are true for the second line which is MACD histogram. Then you have fast stochastic, slow stochastic, and RSI, all three of which the dot is green if over 50, red if below 50. So what this entire study and indicator is doing is it's giving you a quick glimpse of what the momentum and direction at a stock is across multiple different speed of change indicators, right? The MACD being the slowest, it's why it's the top and the thickest. The RSI being typically the fastest, which is why it's at the bottom. So you can sort of read from the top down what the overall momentum of a strategy, or sorry, of a ticker is doing. That can bring us into our first scanner, which is the momentum reversal scanner. And what this is looking for and what this is returning is a stock, if I go ahead and click on Mara and I move my head out of the way once again, is a stock that has has the top MACD line red, but every other dot is green, which once again starts to paint towards that momentum reversal, right? You actually see the reversal indicator arrow showing on this chart here. That's what this scanner is looking at. Now, I built this scanner first, sort of before I thought of the next idea. My next idea was to build scanners for each of the instances of the trade instances I have showing in this indicator. Reversal, dip by, and short. Now, what each of these scanners is going to do is it's only going to populate with stocks in which... It is literally happening today. Like this sort of reversal scanner that I just showed you, it actually, you know, populated for the first time all three dots other than the top, uh, sorry, all four dots other than the top turned green for the first time on the day prior, but it still shows on the scanner, right? If I load my, you'll see them here, you'll see dot dip, dot reversal, and dot short. Those are the scanners I'm talking about. If I load in my dot reversal scanner next, and let's actually load it on my right chart here as well so that I can click easily, um, uh, you will see a lot of the same kind of stock. So if I load Intel, um, but what you'll notice is it's only returning stocks once again where today, like the current bar, is where the indicator is true. So that you are only getting like the right time to enter or the right time to, to short, whatever it may be, according to the strategy populated by the scanner. So that's your dip reversal scanner. And let's just make this all one take because I've basically already pieced it all together. Your dot dip scanner, if I load this in and then I also load it here, what the dot dip is looking for is it's looking for stocks that have... Um, if this would load here, I can see Palantir is one. If I load in Palantir, yes, the dot dip scanner is almost the exact opposite. The top uh, MACD square is green and all the four squares below it are red, meaning right instead of the reversal where this was red and they were all green where you're getting you know, sort of the reversal move. Now you have strength. The overall momentum on the stock is still up, but you're currently getting a smaller twitch, a faster moving dip like you see on Palantir right here previously, right? You've got a dip indicator, which would have also appeared on the scanner here, gave you a nice bounce. You're now getting another dip indicator. We'll see where this one goes from here, but that's the dot dip indicator. The final one being the dot short indicator. Oh, and with all of these indicators as well, I should mention for the reversal and the dip, they also need to be above the 200 SMA, right? So there needs to be proof of overall strength as well. And with the short indicator, obviously they need to be below the 200 SMA. What the short indicator is looking for, and you're getting a mark on uh, Walgreens right now, 
is once again the exact opposite of the dot dip. Your overall momentum, your larger top bar momentum value is down, but every other faster moving momentum indicator below it is green. So you're still getting a small bounce into macro weakness, right? Once again, the exact opposite of the dot dip indicator. But that's all the that's all the uh, scanners I currently have populated on my website. Hey, those of you guys that make it to the end of my videos, I always say you guys are the ones that are really likely to make it. And the whole reason why I made my website is to help people. Now, am I looking to make a dollar too? Yes, of course. I don't give anything away for free. Don't do anything that you're really good at for free. It's what your grandpa told you, right? But um, if you use discount code END, at checkout right now, you're going to get all of these scanners, all of my strategies, all of my indicators, all for $15. I'm not looking to rip anybody off. I'm not charging you hundreds, thousands of dollars like you'll see for indicators like this sometimes. 15 bucks. Go check it out. It is a subscription service because I'm always updating and optimizing my codes to remain on top of the market. But of course, just like any subscription service, very easy to cancel under the My Account tab on the website. So don't feel like you're locked in or anything. I get a lot of questions about that. So I like to bring it up. But daytradingstrategies.net, link at the top of the description down below. I mean, there's no way you didn't just see $15 worth of value out of all of these scanners that you just got. Any of the scan, any of the stocks that you saw returned, any of the plays that you saw in this video, you don't think worth $15 or even the $25 a month after that. Once again, not trying to rip anybody off. Click the link at the top of the description. Go sign up. We'll see you over there. With all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign out of this video. In the outro, I will link you to the video in which I do sort of this same thing, but I go over every custom study that I have populated on my website. So check out that video next. Trading stocks. He talks about trading stocks. It's important for you Americans and other international individuals to learn about stocks. <laughs>